Ready? All right, here we are. We are sitting at the Beat Kitchen in Chicago, Illinois. We are sitting with Carnivora right here. And uh, everybody should know her. We've interviewed her before. Hi. We're gonna we're gonna let the other band members introduce themselves and tell us what they do. Awesome. I'm Cody, I play guitar. You already know. I'm Dan and I play drums. <laughs> do you hold the mic the whole time usually or, sh or should we be taking you it from you? It, I can hold it, I don't care, it don't matter to me. <laughs> and this young lady. If you don't know, my name is Heidi Irizari. That's right, and she is the multi-talented. She plays, let's see, what did you play? The harp, play the piano, you're operatic, you growl, yes. you're melodic. Yes. What don't you do? She engineers nuclear weapons. <laughs> she uh, <laughs> performs brain surgery on the human genome. Yeah. You know, all over the place. She counts cards. Yeah. Like. yeah. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> So, all right, so I met you at open air with your other band. Yeah, two years ago. So where, how did this all come together, Carnivora? Well, um, with my other band, I would play with Carnivora, and I was a huge fan. Uh, I bought their merch, and I would even wear the Carnivora shirt on stage with a verse. Yeah. And then we just became friends, and then eventually, like, when they needed a new singer, they're like, who do we know that's that can do the job well? And they hit me, hit me up, and I was like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's rock let's yeah. rock yeah so when you guys you guys had your other singer um how did you guys i mean you knew her I mean, did you know that it would be a fit did you think you know hey let's give her a call and see or For did you audition <laughs> sure. or did you say let's call Heidi? so this is actually almost kind of like he anticipated it's kind it. of like embarrassing yeah this is a great question <laughs> uh, so we all started as like a high school band we all knew each other from like the when we were you know 17 16 years old and before that even, yeah, even but before. we started around then when it was time to transition singers there was like not this is kind of crazy and weird but there was not even a question who our first pick was yeah. and it was Heidi because she's sitting here and we d <laughs> this is not a good practice I don't recommend bands do this not that it, it worked out great for us but I could see it going wrong we didn't audition anybody we brought her in we practiced a few times and it went fantastic and we knew like it went exactly as yeah, we expected it would. Yeah, yeah, totally. Okay, and when you as a drummer in the back, I mean, you got you see everything that goes on up there. When you watch <laughs> them, everybody best seat in the act, house. It's the best yeah, seat in the yeah, house. The house. <laughs> when you saw everything go, did you think, yeah, this is gonna work? Absolutely. So over the last couple of years, we've been transitioning stylistically, kind of getting more like bluesy, sludgy, slower tempo. Because I mean, we were raised on Massachusetts metalcore and like thrash and death. So a lot of our earlier stuff kind of played to our original vocalist's strengths and as we were moving away from that we were like man we, we really want like more experimental clean singing more you know stylistic changes and dynamic changes and then as soon as we practiced a couple times with Heidi I mean it just it clicked immediately yeah. it clicked uh, I mean <laughs> Immediately. I, mean, I don't see how it couldn't. I it's, mean, I've known her for it's a while. Imagine man. if I totally it's everywhere. ruined that. I was just like, I came in drunk. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that would have been badass. <laughs> Kicking the door down. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> like, like her warm up today when she was doing a mic check. Yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. <laughs> Crack the sky. So, um, we posted pictures on Facebook. Just a couple of you know Aww. teasers before. Awesome. You know, we post everything, and you are dubbed uh, Carnivora's Aquaman. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eight days, eight eight days, days, eight days in a row. In a row. <laughs> we're, we're keeping score on I mean, how look, many days in a row I get the Aquaman thing. Yeah. My buddy even posted for his wife. He's like, I know, I, I know you're gonna uh, love this uh, to his wife. So right underneath. Um, he, uh, what's his name? Playing Chase. guitar. Right. I posted a picture of you playing guitar. And I was like, holy shit! <laughs> I'm flattered. I'm flattered. Yeah. I do not have the looks of Jason Momoa, but I do appreciate the comparison. Jason Momoa. Oh, he's close. There, there is, there's there. a result. Yeah, there's a slight like, definitely related. Okay. You're not as big as the guy because he's a big dude but, <laughs> but yeah you definitely you just put that scar on there and you oh. if Ooh. only i were that badass think about that man a notch <laughs> do you know people bro. actually do That'd that be a good people look. have been I, yeah it's kind of a bizarre trend but people like purposely carve that in now uh, yeah uh, but weird, his but is real his, he was cut by a beer bottle in a bar really yes. that's a great i was story. wondering about that you do yeah. know your you know your facts huh? oh yeah I, yeah we do our homework <laughs> oh yeah yeah we try well i don't you know you don't want to Especially if you come across somebody like I, I interviewed Sebastian Bach once, yeah. and I, I don't ever want to get caught 
interviewing somebody and not know what the you know what to talk about Definitely. because it's just it. You Especially with Seb. It's for the for Seb everybody. Bach, dude. Yeah. Justin Brown knows what I'm talking about back yeah. there. Jay Breezy. Like, like when we interviewed you and I started asking you all those questions. You didn't know how to answer them because you didn't think they were coming. But we didn't talk <laughs> about music. We talked about ballroom dancing, baking, and her eating a hot dog while we were yeah, doing the interview. Yeah. Oh, it took me a minute. Like, I'm starving. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't finish the hot dog because the day was fun, like, though. interview, interview, interview. And I'm like. She was like, all right, let me put this down. And I'm like, oh, eat your hot dog. You got to eat. And I was like, thank you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> so she was eating it while we were doing the interview. I don't care. It's, it's about you guys. It you makes guys. it more fun, I think, to have that yeah. kind of weird shit happen. Absolutely. Uh, it, yeah, eating absolutely. A hot dog eating it's way more natural. Yeah. yeah, it is. All just sitting and here like, well, you guys answer. talk about the same shit over and over and over. It's about, for sure. Yeah. Oh, how's your album? How's your music coming? Love about, well, it's how's your well, like, how's it how it's coming? This is what we do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's true. So when you came into the to the band and, you know, you, you transitioned into them, was it, what did you feel <laughs> I like? I am now that. Yeah. <laughs> into them. What, no, what is, because you're, you're more like, I don't know, you're more animate on stage. You're more animated on stage now. You're, you you dance more. You, yeah, you, you do a lose. lot more. It, did that just come natural when you started with them? Well, I think it's different because you saw me with a verse. It's not really like a shake your body type groove thing. Different bands, it's definitely. Death, like melodic death metal. And like there's moments when I can do that. But I've been, I'm Hispanic. I've been dancing <laughs> in the womb. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, I, I love like salsa music and all, all different styles. Like it's always just been a part of me. And um, so like the music brought myself out more. Yeah, you, you know what I mean. It, it, it has. It really today. has. Cause we're a little huh? dancing. Well, oh, that was that, was that, that solo. I was like, Ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it definitely brought out a lot more in me. Like I'm gaining a lot more confidence in who I am. Yeah. Uh, and it's great. Yeah, it, it comes oh, yeah. across. It comes across very well. I mean, you could tell that she's very comfortable in, in the setting and that you guys, I mean, you guys just all mesh. And I gotta yeah. tell you, you, what's the other guitar player's name? Mike Meehan. <laughs> Mike, Mike. Not, no, 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 Mike Meehan. You gotta say, you gotta <laughs> say both. He's a first name, last name kind of guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, Mike Meehan. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, exactly. Excellent cadence, you get it. You guys, you guys have like the perfect timing. That's really here. nice to hear. You guys, hear. I mean, you guys, I don't think I heard you guys miss a stop. I don't think you missed uh, when you were uh, when you two were playing together. Um, I, don't, I don't know what song it was, but you two were playing almost the same type of uh, riff together. Except sure. his, his, I think yours was lower. Yeah, like yeah. a little yeah. harmony action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we do that kind of stuff a lot. Yeah. Mike yeah. Me and I have an interesting relationship because I think we're like kind of like bro- like real brothers because we like kind of bicker and I'll, like, <laughs> I'll give him shit for certain things and like I know everything about him and I know exactly like his his strengths and weaknesses and he knows mine yeah so like th- we have this weird dynamic but it definitely plays in a positive way when we're not <laughs> when we're not like at each other's throats that's a good it's like that you're kind of classic guitar like duo dynamic it was know? it was I mean everything just works I mean you guys really do work very well thank yeah. you um and I was asking uh, Heidi about uh about you know music and, and getting you on the radio and she sure. said you should have something by the end of the year oh, at least, yeah. at least oh, a yeah. song oh yeah yep. definitely, so, definitely yeah. promise that definitely new music we're trying to get the new record out but we're in like kind of the the independent phase we're in limbo trying to right. figure out where we're going to go with things so hopefully things pick up and that's kind of where we're at now so are you guys trying to shop around or oh, yeah. Yeah. are you yep. what i mean where are you at with that because you are kind of you know you're new you, with the new album and everything where mm. are you guys with that are you still are you guys doing it, um, you know, do it yourself, or are you looking, the or is somebody hurting crazy. You, uh, helping you right now? So, yeah, so we ha- we're managed by Matt Bashand of Shadows Fall. Okay. So we did the whole record with him. He was the producer. Um, and then we had Zeus, if you're familiar with him, he's done, like, everything from Queensryche to Whitechapel. Yeah, he's... My dog is Zeus. Zeus? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 also, I know the dog named Zeus. But, yeah, he's, he's <laughs> mixing and mastering it, and he's, okay. like top tier dude and we got actually while we were on this run they sent us back the first mix of the whole record Mm -hmm. so now we're starting to get back like the finished product we're like probably 95 97 percent of the way there nitpicking little details of vocal levels and i mean uh, like being so we were we were driving from um houston to austin the first time we've listened to it top to bottom and 
I mean, I can't like describe how it felt to like because we've been working on some of these songs since 2016. I mean, yeah. it's been a really long time coming. Wow. And and when yeah. when we started working with Heidi, that's when we were like, okay, like taking it seriously. Like we finally had the vocal piece that we wanted to fit into the music. Um, and so being able to like listen to it from top to bottom for the first time, I mean, it was like a surreal experience. Yeah, yeah. So. definitely. It's very strategic too. I, I've been in this band for three years now, and like it goes to show how much time and like patience and love we're putting into this to do patience. it the right way. A lot of patience. A lot of patience. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. you know, three years, like, we easily could have like dropped something, but it wouldn't have been the thing. Yeah, it wouldn't have been what you that wanted. we could like yeah. wear, yeah. like very proudly. And like yeah. when it comes out, it's gonna be worn. Is it gonna be full length or just uh, like a five song? Yeah. Full, yeah. Length. full length. Full length. <laughs> Ten okay. songs, baby. Ten really? songs. Really? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Wow. It's a it's a relatively quick listen. Mm. Some of our older stuff, um, <coughs> you know, we're working with like four minutes, five minute song length. We have like some really quick tracks, okay. but I mean, they're fleshed out. They're you know developed. There's layers. There's complexity. Meat. And I'm just like meat. There's meat, meat on the bones. <laughs> yeah. The bones may be the bones yeah. may be small, but goddamn if there ain't meat on them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> we do love our meat. I mean, come we on. Do. Carnivora. It's in the name. Carnivora. It's in the name. Yep. <laughs> so, so yeah, um, when you guys get that drop, you're gonna have to send me a copy, and then what absolutely. we'll do is, well, I do. I, I don't know if you remember, but I do a, a new to you Friday show. So all the new songs, all the new bands that I get during the week, I put play on Friday, awesome. and then we highlight like one or two bands that have been around a while that maybe dropped their second album or whatever. Sure. But what we can do is. We'll have you guys call in after you guys send me the album, and then what we'll do is we'll talk about the album, you know, and, and <clears throat> kind of work up, you know, build it up, yeah. you know, and then That'd we'll, be fantastic. We'll, we'll just, you know, have you on the phone, play the album at the same time. And well, I'd love to do that's that. That's the kind of stuff we that. need, man. Definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's usually appreciated. And I know you're from here, but I tell everybody also, if you're coming through, I'm from Northwest Indiana. You guys ever need a place to stay, shower, clothes, you. Give me a call, let Thank me know, you. and you guys are more than welcome to stay. That's awesome. As that long as you put up with two cats, a dog, and my grandson. Well, <laughs> well I don't know about that now. Your okay. grandfather? Yeah. Never would have pictured it. Dude, yep. you look you, a lot you look good. Than yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said it. <laughs> Sound the open. Yep. He's three. He's three years old. His name is Maximus. Awesome. Oh, nice. Yep. Nice. Rad name. Yep. Rad I, name. I um I turned fifty on New Year's Eve. Damn. Damn, what? dude, you look fucking awesome. Yeah. Oh, no. You look good, dude. Woo. Like, what? Woo. Yeah. Uh, woo. All right, then. Like the, woo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, yeah. Embrace it. Like, you know, if you got it going on. I try. I got her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. No, we're, we're all like... We love lifting each other up and making That's people true. laugh. Yeah. We're a hype band. We definitely hype each other. Oh yeah, oh, you guys constantly. are huge constantly. hype. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of a lot of good energy. And, and please around. keep the drum solo. I'm old school. You rap. like that shit, man? Dude, oh, <laughs> I, like I've been that? listening. My first, well, my first concert was Motley Crue autograph opened. Oh yeah. I saw Metallica open up for Ozzy Osbourne. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, that's how old I am. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, you uh, drum solos, love them. Anytime I get a drum solo, I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah, there I love, we I go. love them too. Because you don't really see it very often anymore. N never. Yep. Ne I never. And I always like, why doesn't somebody do a drum? Somebody, just do something. Because to me, you could play the songs, you know the songs. Mm -hmm. But when a drummer can, you know, when you guys obviously rest, that's what it used to be. It used to be the break in the in the concert. Exactly. Um, when a drummer can actually stand there by himself and play the drums and come up with something you know original that's something else i mean you know you're not going to be you know obviously peter chris who has the most <laughs> awesome drum solo i've ever <laughs> fucking seen in my life but i mean it's it's just something that i think drummers more drummers should do because it, it, it highlights their talent yeah it really does well the other thing is too i always say that these two are like the shining musical talents of our band without a doubt like <laughs> we figured out how to play guitar and whatnot yeah. like, <laughs> and that kid can really our fill-in bass player who's sitting right over there oh okay can, he can play like a mofo but like uh, these guys uh, and our and our we like full-time bass player is fucking phenomenal too but these guys are like the shining stars of the band so it's cool that he gets a moment to like really yeah. like flex on that you know so why is he a fill-in where's where's your 
He's our other bass player's got he's got a kid now, so it, oh, we're, okay. yeah, so touring isn't as easy for him anymore. Yeah. So, but he, you know, he's like part of the fold still. So. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. We love him. I mean, even with our like original vocalists and everything, like we're we're we've been like Cody said earlier, we've been friends forever. Yeah, and yeah. it's just like, you know, it, we're we're lucky to be able to go out and like have somebody like Justin or our buddy Sean who filled in last year okay. I mean being able to have really really talented friends who are like yeah man I'll learn your set and come out with you for two weeks like oh. that's that's, that's like cool. priceless and that dude that's learned priceless. the set in like 11 days yeah so. he did 11 days. he, did. he, did. he yep. murders it so. holy shit yeah man and he's also rumor has it rumor has it rumor has it he's the illegitimate child of our manager from Shadows Fall too, so. <laughs> <laughs> rumor has it rumors uh, listen these are all rumors they are so alike yeah <laughs> 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 There's some fun facts. Uh, fun facts. Exactly. Rumored. Exactly. Rumored fun facts. Allegedly. Alter <laughs> <laughs> we're working with alternative facts. Yeah. Yeah. That's how we like to do. We like to switch Yo, it up. Yo, we're alternative facts from Toledo, Ohio. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Toledo, good choice. Yeah, we're, yeah, really? we're, we're in Toledo tomorrow. <laughs> yep. Are you really? Yeah. 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 We're, oh, on the, okay. we're on the tail end of this oh, run. Yeah. We are indeed. We've, yeah, she said you got three more dates? Yeah, this, okay. this was day 15. Um, yeah, we're in Toledo tomorrow. We're in upstate New York, Oswego, for um, a festival on Friday. Okay. And then we're ending at um, Sammy's <coughs> Patio, which is Revere in Revere, Massachusetts, about 15, 20 minutes north of Boston. Stomping ground. I got five Pretty of the guys stomping. I was in Iraq with that live in Boston. Really? Really? Five of them. Wow. wow. Yeah. They're Boston's they, a good town, man. We're, yeah. we're happy to call it home. We're yeah, real they, happy. I mean, they're always saying, come on over, visit. I'm like, Do I it. travel everywhere. Yeah. We just got back from West Virginia. For um, Metal in the Mountains. Oh, how was that? That was awesome. Did you see Byzantine? Yeah. I love that band. Yeah, <laughs> we saw it. it was on so Earth, bad. right? On Earth, all the remains. Did you catch any of them? Or you <coughs> All the remains? No, we didn't see them. Um, Black Plague is one of my favorite bands. Oh, sick. Yeah, they're, definitely. They're just, they're another good friend of mine. Yeah. Um, I, I just, they're, they're just amazing. Stephanie is, is so amazing. Um, but then, um, Two weeks before that, we were in Ohio for Sonic Temple. Mm -hmm. Oh, you've been to all the good fast stuff. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, and yeah. Then my, I had another media team at Epicenter. I had another one in Rockville. Damn. And then right now, we're taking a break from doing a lot of traveling and just covering Chicago. Sure. And then July, we got a two-day fest at Tinley Park. And then Aww. in, in uh, September, uh, Ohio and Louisville. Nice. Congrats. So, yeah, we're so, that's big stuff. Yeah. Louisville is the shit. We were in Louisville last Louder night. Life is oh uh, the, what we're going to cover. So good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it's it's great to great. see you guys are doing well. Absolutely. It is. And like seeing it. the world too. Like it is. Rocking it's, out. it's so awesome. You know, it, it got bigger than what I thought it would ever do. I re really did. It's because you're probably Same. having fun, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, I'm having a blast. <laughs> that's the music I'm, game. That's the way that it's to be. Good people, and you can sit here and just bullshit with them on interviews. Yeah. Well, when you're good at what you do, right? So you're a good interviewer. So it makes sense that things would would shit just flow. Oh, oh, yeah, would, I would hope. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I have absolutely no talent whatsoever. I, don't, I can't play. I can't sing. I can bullshit. That's all I can do. That's, That's what it. we do. Yeah. Yo. I can't. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Being a good dude is a talent. Being a good dude is a talent. He's right. I He's right. Yeah, and and it, I started it to help Chicago bands. Sure. And that's all I wanted to do. And then the next thing I know, I'm getting so bands from Sweden and Australia and oh, Israel shit. and uh, yes. uh, Peru and Spain and everywhere. And Damn. I'm like, okay, I got to figure this out. You yeah. know? I need more bodies. I can't do all Yeah, I can't. I, can, yeah. I need help, man. So I did get, I got great DJs. I got great press. I got a lot of good people around me now. Good and for you, man. It, 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 yeah. it helps. It really helps when you have good people. Absolutely. You know? And then I get good bands like you guys at the interview and sit here and bullshit for a while. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> That's awesome. what we do. Oh. So, um, Let's see, where can uh, people get your merch? Uh, is there, do you have a website, you got a store, or just on? Yeah, so once we get back from this tour, we'll get all the stuff up on our Bandcamp page. That's kind of like the hub for our music and merchandise. So okay. all the all the leftover shit from the tour that we have at the table tonight, and among other new things that'll come out throughout the rest of the year, okay. it'll be all up on our, it's carnivore.bandcamp.com. Okay, yep. and uh, of course, all the platforms, all the, the social media sites, oh, yeah. you guys Hell got yeah. all that. Yep. Okay. Instagram, and I think Twitter, at Carnivora Band. Um, definitely Facebook. Yeah, Facebook we are we are Carnivora with the blue check mark on. Yeah, on got Facebook. that blue check. Got the verified check mark. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. not to flex or anything. But. <laughs>
Facebook official. Hey, official. Yeah. Exactly. Gotta be. Exactly. Gotta be. Exactly. In his day and age? Yeah. Um, no, in this blue, economy? No in this economy? Blue. In this economy? You gotta be verified. You gotta be verified. That's right. If not, it's fake news. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> oh, Recurring man. Themes. Oh. Okay, and so three more, do- three more. Then you go home. Get yeah, this, yep. get this done. Drop yep. a song. Hopefully, get back out on tour in the fall. Okay. And then just keep keep doing the thing. Yep. Okay. Growing it, showing it. Yeah. <laughs> You know, flexing. I ne- you never slowing it. That's one of my that's yeah. one of my stage moves now. A lot of flexes. A lot of flexes going <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, I saw the flex going on. I, I saw mean, that Aquaman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dude. What's he doing back there? He's here? just he's he's holding up funny photos trying yeah. to distract us. Trying <laughs> <laughs> to distract us. Oh my god. Justin, Justin, uh, everybody should follow Justin Brown at Justin Brown Bass. <laughs> it's um, technically bass, it's but technically bass. But we call but, him Justin Brown Bass. Yeah. Um, Brown Bass. And he's he's the there meme. A, there is a Brown Bass. Probably. There probably is. Yeah. Probably. He's the meme machine, man. I mean, he pumps out meme, content meme. like like yeah, no one else. Yeah, he's a machine. Meme <laughs> machine, dude. Meme. Meme machine. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's he's mean too, but <laughs> he's mean. He's also very he's mean. mean. He's a mean meme mean machine. Mean tone. Mean personality. Mean machine. Mean meme machine. Mean meme machine. Mean meme machine. Yeah, seven silver swans. Mean meme meme meme. No. No. So, um, well, I tell you what, I thank you for your time. I'll let you get back in thank there. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. Talk to more people. And oh, yeah. you can visit with Enjoy and Bevel. friends and everybody. Yeah. Because yep. I know you're home. And I'm going to eat some deep dish pizza. My dad <laughs> went back home. Oh, did he? But we're going to see. I'm, we're staying with him. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're crashing there tonight. Not oh, on yeah. the couches, though. Not on the They're new. <laughs> Don't sleep. sleep on the piano. Yeah, exactly. Uh, actually, I, I do there. have a piano. <laughs> I know you have a piano. Come on. I know you have a piano. It's next Come to your on. harp. <laughs> oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 no. At my dad's house. The harp is in Boston. The harp is in Boston. The har- okay. And the keyboard is We're in Boston. We're all over the world I have a now. piano in Chicago. Yeah, Sorry. I know piano's piano's a piano is a different area. Like a big one. <laughs> a big one. Yes. Yeah. I've seen you play it. <laughs> well, it's here. I don't get to play it at home. Yeah, well, you gotta keep yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god, here we go. <laughs> okay. no, no. Too many no, inside okay. jokes. Sorry, I just have to specify. <laughs> 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 gotta set the record straight. You know? yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's very important. <laughs> but yeah, no, I've I've seen your um your post on Facebook yeah, yeah. that you play and everything. But Thank I, you no, so I try, much. Because I try and follow the bands that. Hell yeah. You know, I, I mean, we have so many, but a lot of them kind of send me music and think <laughs> that's all they do. Right? Yeah. You know, and it's, you have to promote yourself. You yeah, gotta and. That's why when you know I say I know you have a, you know your piano and your and your harp and everything because I follow the bands that are good and that promote themselves mm-hmm. so that helps me promote you yeah because yeah. if you guys ain't posting nothing I can't There's say nothing, hey yeah. check this sure. out there's nothing for me to do so you know with you with her doing her thing and now with you guys and then I, we have you tagged as Aquaman we uh, you know I, we got stuff to post that's right man <laughs> absolutely content king we, yeah. we are really good with our content we love <laughs> so much love it. so much of the game nowadays is just your personal brand and like being able to like sell yourself not only to your audience <laughs> yes. exactly yes. selling selling yourself to your audience and to you know the 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 bigger picture and also to companies that you're interested in working with i mean there's so yeah. much that that having a good you know social presence ha- you know um goes into you know right so. yeah and and i you know now that i have you know more information on you guys more information on your music oh yeah taking man. notes uh, yeah it up. <laughs> oh no it's all in there i got it it's all in there <laughs> so uh but yeah i, I can I, there's more information i can put out for you guys now and, absolutely you know, yeah, absolutely that's what we started Invaluable. i started at four and it just grew and grew and now we're you know doing it for many many bands so yes we'll oh, do yeah, what man. we can and like yeah. i said oh, yeah. if you guys i know i know your dad's here but if you guys come through northwest indiana and say you know it's getting late maybe we should pull over yep. just give me a call thanks man, man. Yeah, those, I mean, those kinds of connections i mean they're invaluable and for people to like open up their homes to us you know the 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 classic trope is like oh like they've been in a van they're smelly we don't smell that bad we smell yeah. pretty good we try to maintain a, a pretty good uh, hygiene really. regi- regiment um but like for anybody to open up their homes to us and just let us crash on their floor, on their couch, whatever. I mean, it's like, it's really priceless. So we appreciate you doing that. Joyous Wolf called us at 
What time they call? Like 11 o'clock at night? Two in the morning? Oh. They got there at like four. I was like, Anthony goes, um, they just called and they said they needed a place to stay. I'm like, I said, I got to work in the morning. I work part time <laughs> at a pet store. Right. And uh, I had to work and I'm like, tell them to stop, you know, whatever. If you're going to be up, then <laughs> tell them to come on over. So Joyous Wolf came and stayed Six. at our house but i was out they didn't get to like four yeah you know time's irrelevant when you're on tour man i know i mean <laughs> i'll be driving at fucking 5 30 in the morning we'll be driving at like whenever i mean yeah. it's, it's all irrelevant the only thing that matters is when you load in and when you play that's yeah. like that's, that's it. it be on time for those things and you'll be <laughs> fine yeah, yeah. you know yep <laughs> So, all right, guys, get back in there. Thank Thanks, you, sir. Uh, thank great you. talking with and, you. Uh, yes, thank Appreciate you. It's nice man. to thank meet you everybody. So much. You, you as well. Great yeah. to see you again. And you, and uh, hopefully we'll be seeing you down the road. Yeah. Sometime Absolutely. in the fall. Absolutely. We'll be and, back. And when that and when that, <laughs> that song drops, make sure you get it to me. So oh, I, I will. Yeah. Like Absolutely, hell yeah. Man. Absolutely. Hell yeah. And hell. I've got to say, <laughs> again, uh, thank you so much for supporting. Totally. You know, we met two years ago, and, like, it's gonna be a great friendship. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank awesome. you so much. Defin yes. For awesome. taking the time to come here too. <laughs> oh yeah. I appreciate it, it. Oh, anytime. Anytime you guys are in town, let me know. Absolutely. Give me a call. Absolutely. I'll come out. We'll do interviews. Whatever. Awesome. Okay. It don't, whatever you need. Whatever you need me to do. And I was gonna tell you too. <coughs> excuse me. We have an app that's called Asgard Connect, and it connects you with people around the country that'll put you up in their house. Sick. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's I started it a few years ago. Oh, hell yeah. And it, it also has um, uh, venues on there. Like, people that book at venues. It oh, has that on shit. there, too. It'd be really good for you. So, yeah, I got to get on that. Yeah, and it, cool, it'll... Man. I got to take a couple off because a couple places closed. Sure. Yeah. But, I mean, um, yeah. but there's people on there that either have a phone number or an email, mm -hmm. and you can get a hold of them and say, hey, this is Carnivora. We're going to be in town. You know, you know, I got you off of Asgard's List. Can you... You know, put us up for that. Sick, man. I always say, just throw them some merch or something. You yeah, know, yeah, 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 yeah. Or something. You yeah. know, make it worth their while. But mm -hmm. yeah, anytime you're in Northwest Indiana, you're more than welcome to stay Thanks, in man. mind. Thank you very and much. And then get man. a hold of uh, people on that. And then um, hopefully we'll be seeing you around. Hell yeah, dude. All Cheers. right, Carnivora, check them out. Get their stuff so uh, they make some money and we can see them pouring a, <laughs> a hell of a lot more. That's yes. right. Get we'll see you there. later. This is Asgard Media. Woo! Cheers. Thank you. Thanks.